fuck is that? A camera? Uh, yeah, it's a camera. Video tape for what? I'm just making a documentary about that neighborhood. I yeah. just walk around. Look at the neighborhood right here, look. Big Crips, nigga. Big Crips, nigga. Moving like that, gang. Yeah? Moving. Yo, what's that, bro? Oh, that's a camera, bro. Oh, that's nice, man. It's small camera. That's nice, bro. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, thank nice. you. Yes. Have a wonderful day. You too. Have a blessed day, brother. Thank you. When we think about dangerous neighborhood or places in New York City, the first thing comes to our mind is Bronx. Which is right, I agree, in the Bronx, few neighborhoods are dangerous and the crime rates are a bit higher than normal. But you will be shocked to know that Brownsville, a residential neighborhood located in eastern Brooklyn in New York City, is the most dangerous neighborhood according to the city reports. And I'm here at Shutter Avenue, 3 train station at the corner of East 98th Street and Shutter Avenue. So basically we will walk into this neighborhood and try to see why it's called the dangerous neighborhood. So we'll try to find some fact about this neighborhood and try to see why it is called like that. And this is, as I said, three train station, number three. Let's talk about the demographic part of this neighborhood. So, the neighborhood generally bordered with Crown Heights to the northwest, Bedford and Cypress Hill to the north, and East New York to the east, Canarsie to the south, and the East Flatbush to the west. So this is how this neighborhood basically. Development started in early 1800s by William Sudam, but somehow, somehow he failed to pay the mortgage, and as a result, Charlie S. Brown later owned the land in an auction and built more houses by 1883, and the community getting bigger and bigger, and start calling this area Brown's Village because of his name. And this is how basically the Brownsville got its name. And also in early 1880s, Brownsville used as a dumping ground. A uh, few from basically glue factories along with Jamaica Bay would usually blow up wind into Brownsville. And that's the reason this place was not so popular among the wealthy people. But they make houses and give rent to the poor people because mostly, as I said, construction workers lived here. But Brownville was uh, predominantly Jewish from 1880s until 1950s. The vast majority of Brownsville residence was born outside of the United States and 66% of the population was first generation immigrants and they are coming here from Russia so yeah and Brownsville had the nickname on that time it's called Little Jerusalem and Russian Jews are basically stay here on that time but in the 1930s, it was considered the most densely populated districts in all Brooklyn. And Brownsville was also considered to have the highest density of Jewish of any place in the United States through 1950s. Thank 
So this is Howard Avenue and Charter Avenue. Now let's talk about the crime. But first cross the street, then we will talk about that. So basically in 1930s, Brownsville became the birthplace of Mother Inc. who contract to kill between 400 and 1000 people through 1940s. And the organization criminal business also extend to nearby neighborhoods like Ocean Hill and East New York. And the members mainly consisted of Jewish and Italian Americans because during that time were mainly populated by Jewish and Italian people. So the crime came to this area neighborhood by Jewish and Italian community. And at the time also African American began moving into Brooklyn in a large number and most of the new resident was poor and uh, socially disadvantaged who were mostly migrant from the Jim Crow era south where they were racially discriminated against and in 1940s black residents made up 66 percent of Brownsville population and by 1950 they were double the number of black and most of whom occupied the neighborhood uh, most undesirable house so city tried to do something for that and at the same time the jewish community or the population also uh, discriminated african-american here those who lived in this neighborhood but when robert moses planned to make more uh, housing here in this area the jews start to moving and this area become mostly uh, populated for African-American and Hispanic community. So this is Pitkin Avenue and Howard Avenue. So this is how this neighborhood basically get into the crime. So it's not new here.
this is a B12 and B14 bus station. Uh, yeah, it's a camera. For what? I'm just making a documentary about that neighborhood. I just yeah. walk around. Look at the neighborhood right here. Look, big crips, nigga. Big crips, nigga. Moving like that, gang. Yeah, moving. Nice. See the 83rd Street, homeboy. Nice, nice. Keep moving. Thank you, man. Have a wonderful day. And look at that art right here. And nowadays we are seeing more crime in New York City subway than any specific neighborhood. Across the street there is a subway and Pizza Hut. You will find lots of cool moral or picture into this neighborhood. I love it. This one is also looks pretty nice. But as I said, walking into this neighborhood with a camera, you have to be a bit uh, careful about your surrounding and what's going on because some people will just freak out. What the heck you are doing like that? But you have to be just be nice and polite and it will be okay. It's not that bad. And there is 99 cents express store across the street. And there are a few good restaurants as well. I found here Juicy King Carb Express right here into this corner of uh, Strauss and Pitkin Avenue. But the thing I really like about this neighborhood is all this moral. They are pretty nice. I love it. This moral are perfect for Instagram. This is I really like about this neighborhood so far. I hear about a lot into this neighborhood but never been into so this time I thought it would be a great to take a walk and see how actually it is because in news or other stuff we see lots of different stuff that sometimes not truly right Few more arts across the street I think there is a school up there oh wow look at this one 
I just love it. This is the thing I really like about this neighborhood so far. So many moral. So many. And they look pretty nice. Almost every block you will see one or two moral. Another business property right here. This might be closed. Jimmy Jazz across the street. This is a very lovely, lovely street, Pitkin Avenue. I do see lots of business places that are pretty nice. And pharmacy, food mart, everything. Maybe after some sort of uh, weird incident, this neighborhood got the nickname of Mother Capital, but I don't think so it's that bad. Because if it's so bad, then how people could live here? But maybe I might wrong. So feel free to share your thought if you live into this area and want to add something. My goal is to just show you the neighborhood and that's all. But so far it seems a very lively neighborhood. You have to be gentle while crossing the street, especially when drivers do right turn. Sometimes they get harsh and it's not safe to do like cross the street on that time. I love those mini shops right here. And as I said, in this uh, neighborhood, it's mostly African-American and Hispanic community. A large number of them are lived here in this neighborhood. I do see lots of business places are open and some of them are closed but most of them are open and all types of stores are here I love this shoe store right here bargain land This is Pitkin Seafood. It's sometimes pretty tough to find some good restaurant, but I think this neighborhood had some good restaurant as well.
Oh, that's a camera, bro. Oh, that's nice, man. It's small camera. That's nice, bro. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Thank nice, you. Yes. Have a wonderful day. You too. Have a blessed day, brother. Thank you. Yes. As I say, that people are so nice. They're just curious what am I doing right here, and especially with my camera. It's a very small camera, so they are just curious. And as I said, in New York City, it doesn't matter what situation or what neighborhood you are, you have to be just be polite with people. No matter how bad they behave with you, but you have to be polite. Because at the end of the day, politeness will be win. Whenever you will be polite, they will be forced to be polite. They will be not too rude with you. And this is Pitkin Avenue, still we are in Pitkin Avenue. Just waiting to cross the street. And I found a halal food court here as well. This is, I think, my first halal food court I see into this avenue so far. Smells good. No matter where you go, you will always find a halal food court in every neighborhood in New York City. And the subway line, the only subway line into this neighborhood is line 3. Other than that, you had to just deal with all these buses. Not many subway lines are here that connect to this neighborhood, but mostly bus. And I do see in this neighborhood there is a tough for finding a parking as well because finding a parking is not that easy either that's the biggest problem into any neighborhood and I think most of the housing you will see in Shutter Avenue and that side of Pitkin Avenue but Pitkin Avenue is mostly filled with business place like a commercial street or avenue another restaurant and I do see one thing about this neighborhood you will see lots of 99 cents shop and also lots of nails and spa. And this is Osborne Street and Pitkin Avenue. In that direction I do see lots of housing. It's nothing to be shocked. But as I said, for a long period of time, the people of Brownsville faces racially discrimination. And that's why this part of city never get a huge development. But I think things are getting changed and people are getting improved and crime rates are getting low.
I think this place waiting for a grand opening. I think now let's head towards Mother Gaston Boulevard. It seems nice, very nice area. And the thing I like about this neighborhood, lots of moral. This is pretty cool. So far it was a pretty lovely day and now it seems to have a bit cloudy weather. It's not that cold but it's not that great weather either. Can't wait for a good weather. So up ahead is Belmont Avenue. And more housing into this area, as I say, in Shutter Avenue. this part you will see more housing as well I do see some in YPD car as well they are patrolling into this neighborhood still lots of lands need to be cleaned and lots of free space that they can utilize to build house but definitely for that you need some sort of city funding and more uh, improvement of the area <laughs> And now I do see this is Shutter Avenue to see more project in this area. So now let's walk down the Shutter Avenue. Let's cross the street. station and a self car wash yeah this is mainly the housing street
and feel free to share your thoughts and comments about the neighborhood or if you want to see more video like that from different neighborhoods or different row i'll definitely try my best to make videos like that apart from some touristy vibes of new york city i want to show you the real new york city some special neighborhood unique neighborhood and i hope that would be pretty interesting dream of freedom they're towing this car So, so far from my point of view, this neighborhood is quite okay. I do see lots of bad uh, things before than this neighborhood compared to that. So far, doesn't seem to be that bad at all. And so far, people was friendly. I was not expected that. I was expected to be stopped more frequently that what the heck I'm doing here into this area. But so far people was not that rude. So this is Rockway Avenue and Shutter Avenue. Here is some more land. Need to be cleaned and they can use it for building houses now again I'm going back towards uh, 98th Street uh, from where I start my video I just take a quick loop of this neighborhood and the area and i also observed one thing about this neighborhood that most of the houses are like townhouses I also uh, try my best to put a Google map link of this area where I just walked or my particular road so you can see and you can get more info about this road or the area. This is Bristol Street and Charter Avenue. There is no planet B. There's a sign into that window. I don't know what that means, but there is no planet B.
and as we go towards more into 98th street i do see less housing and more private house I think there are some construction going on into this building. I think it will be demolished. Or they try to build some new building. no dumping i think i found a community garden here into this neighborhood this is a small community garden quite nice hopefully summer it would be much more lively so they have all sort of facilities that a neighborhood should have and as i say that things are getting improved nowadays so hopefully in future the title that Murder capital will be removed from Brownsville. But it used to be a very dangerous neighborhood, as I say. From the history, you can know that it used to be a very dangerous neighborhood. And still, sometimes it's getting violent as well. In this street, I do see some pretty nice houses, but it mostly looks like some sort of townhouse. That's not bad. And I also observed and I mentioned earlier that this area doesn't have enough public transportation system like subway. The only subway line that connects to this neighborhood is just line three. So yeah, it's not that convenient for the people who lived into this area because they had to depend on bus and their private car. And in some sense, using private car, I think, more safer nowadays than using subway. The bats are chirping, I love it. It's kind of giving me the vibes of spring, but still spring is two more weeks.
and this is PS uh, 156, a public school. The school looks quite nice and big. So it's good that we find a public school in my walk. So most of the activities or hustle and bustle is going on into Pitkin Avenue because it's a commercial avenue with lots of business place and this is mostly residential part with lots of projects and house so it's very calm and quiet. I think these are mostly apartments right here because it doesn't seem to be a project or housing. Okay, let's cross the street and we are almost at our destination from where we start this video and I hope you guys enjoy this video I mean, you see something different than my regular videos and if you want to see more video like that from New York City, then definitely consider subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any notification whenever I'll post a video like that and just feel free to share any thoughts or suggestion for me and definitely if you enjoy it, then hit that like button for me and I will appreciate it. Here is a grocery. I think this is the beauty of New York City neighborhoods that in almost every every corner you will find a deli and that is very convenient sometimes. And this is the beauty of some neighborhoods in New York City and especially in New York City. So this is Union Street and Charter Avenue. Anyway, I think 
Rappel Avenue and Shutter Avenue would be the perfect spot to end this video. I will see you guys somewhere else in a different neighborhood in New York City. Bye-bye.